Vendidos. Acambados. Who's going to try one, ladies? If it means I get to eat it, you can call me a lady. I could definitely stand to eat some more. Is this a collective looking for the feed bag situation? This is a collective, is there a chef in the car? The problem is they said there's no kitchen in this vineyard that we're going to. I ran ahead and started a little fire with the vine clippings wow. to make a little grill of something I consider a perfect match for the albariño. One, two. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Life I love is making music with my friends. I can't wait to get on the road again. On the road again. Like a band of gypsies, we go down the highway. We're the best of friends. Insisting that the world keep turning out. It's all on the road again I just can't wait to get on the road again Life I love is wicked music with my friends And I can't wait to get on the road again Our road trip had taken us to the remote countryside of Galicia, where we'd hiked the pilgrimage route, the fabled Camino de Santiago. Ow, mother of F, I just got stuck by a... Those are the ones that you laughed at me about five minutes ago. Just for the record, to show you the karmic account is totally not drawn yet. You have put another deposit into your account. Killed by the brush. Claudia and I had taken the high and, forgive me for bragging, the very long road. Can we stop? Okay, Bitman, turn around and tell me if this was not worth it. Yeah, this is pretty great. But Mario, among the more competitive people in the world, had undoubtedly encouraged Gwyneth to cut a few corners so they could beat us back to the Casa Rural. The next morning, Mario and Gwyneth devoured another stupendous country breakfast at Parada das Bestas, while Claudia and I, still a bit Camino weary, slept in. So did you sleep well, my dear? I slept very well. Did you? I sleep the sleep of a man with a clean conscience. <laughs> I.e. you don't sleep. <laughs> I sleep very well. What do you mean? I sleep as long as I need to. The thing about out here is almost living in New York City, you develop a kind of a tolerance for a white noise situation. So when it's gone, suddenly it's like, what's wrong? And then you start to hear your own blood pumping, you know, you like your own thoughts, bad thoughts coming into your mind and leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's so quiet and the air is so fresh. Thank you. Mm. Oh, yes. oh. The brown love of soy. Si, claro. Vamos a probar esa soya. Soya? Soja. 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 Even sounds worse. It's so good. You're going to love it. It tastes yummy. In Spain, they do it as sort of this nutty, sweet. It's really good. Well, let's try it out. It's not bad. It doesn't taste like fake hazelnut stuff to you. Does it? Like they took hazelnut uh, pits or <laughs> skins or whatever and ground them up? That's probably what they did, right? I'd rather I mean, this have is made with water, right? Soy milk? Yeah. They take soy and water and mix it up, right? I'm sure, yeah. I'd rather drink that than cow mucus in a glass. <laughs> <laughs> the entire Western civilization was built on cow mucus in a glass and then occasionally allowing it to rot <laughs> to make cheese. <laughs> so as long as we bought into that part, I mean, you know, you like cheese, though. You just don't like milk. I know. It makes no sense. See, that someone can like gorgonzola and no, not, not like, like milk love. is a little odd. <laughs> That's taking that to the edge. I don't know what it is. So now we've seen the forest. 
We've seen the interior parts. It's so off the beaten path. It's funny that it, it probably actually defined what the beaten path was. The beaten path being the road right. of the pilgrims. I love that. But the best part, in my opinion, is the shellfish. And that, of course, comes on the coast. Right. So we'll head over there to watch a boat or two and these beautiful mariscadoras, which are these young ladies of 60 and 70 making the sand to get up all this Are we going to get in there with, in the sand and do it we, with them? You have the boots and I got the power. Can we do it? I think we can. Are we going to cook and eat? What kind of a guy do you think <laughs> I am? Have I ever picked anything without intending to at least pickle it? Or bring it to some level of a little difference or variation from its raw state? I mean, they eat them raw. Do you eat raw shellfish? Clams and oysters I love. Okay. It's amazing with the right kind of wine and the right quantity, how tasty some things can be. It's true. You know, if you have a couple of glasses. Really deadening those... your taste buds. <laughs> no, it's not deadening your taste buds. <laughs> it's loosening up your libidinal oh, right. licentiousness. <laughs> and with the wine from up here, the Albarino, yeah. which is from right around the corner here. I think we should probably see if we can try to make some of that or see how they're onto that, being that we're here in Harvest. I think so, too. Uh, one small detail. Uh-huh. Today, mm -hmm. Mario drives. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> We've been pit-pattering around behind you enough. Now let's see if we can stretch this little car out and see what we got inside. Let's do it. Right. With Mario as chauffeur, we motored due west to the lively fishing village of Cambados. A little coastal action. Benvidos a Cambados. Benvidos a Cambados. Look at all the women harvesting the mariscos. Wow, now that looks great. Las mariscadoras, the ladies who get it, are still a vital and important part of the economy. Can't wait to meet them. The beautiful views of the bay. Buenos dias. Hola. We have arrived to a special place now. Oh, wow. This is very cool, these little old streets. I can smell it. 50 meters to the oyster and albarino Ooh. special. Is that it? Do you smell, do you smell, smell, do you smell fried smell. or do you smell? I smell, I smell grill. Grill, I, yeah. Grill, I smell yes. wood burning grill. Wood burning fire. I smell maybe fire. Jeremiah Towers up here working the old uh, <laughs> mesquite grill. I can smell raw oysters. That's good. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. Look at all those women out there. What are they doing? Scraping the floor? They're, they're digging for shellfish. Oh, that's that pretty nice. That is incredible. And they're waiters in their boots. What an amazing cultural thing to Is see that now. Raquel Welch over there in the corner? I think it is. <laughs> in tu sueño, see? In mi sueño, in tu sueño. <laughs> Let's go out and see what they're doing. I, of course, grew up in a small fishing village. Of course you did, in uh, Galicia, I believe it was, wasn't it? <laughs> or, was, or was it Western Connecticut, we Eastern were, Connecticut? We clamming every morning. No, actually, I grew up a block from the East River. There you go. <laughs> see, we used to be able to go to Hood Canal Hola. and pick oysters up. Hola. Hola. Buenos dias. Hola. Buenos dias. Hola. Muy bien, ¿y tú? Yo muy bien. <laughs> Explícanos un poquito de lo que haces. This is a rice dish, a clam. Mira, este es un berberecho. Wow, Holy okay. moly. Wow. Los berberechos son los que más están a flor de la piel, de, así. The and small first. ones? Yeah, yeah, the berberechos. Wow. Se comen así. See, this is the definition of... Of local raw eating. These are so good. I knew they were good raw. You had the right idea. Wow. wow. Look at you. It's amazing. You need a little cocktail sauce and you're in bed. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. That's the last <laughs> thing I need. Who's going to try one, ladies? Mm. I'll try one later. If try it means one. I get to eat it, you can call me a lady. Yeah, aren't you supposed to not be here? This work is uh, 
Yeah. For the ladies. For the well, ladies, ladies yeah. they ¿Por qué get no to work. Típico? ¿Por qué hay más mujeres mariscadoras? ¿Hay alguna razón? O es... Sí, porque es a, a pie, no hay que coger embarcación o los... los... Hombres van en barco, ah. salen con un rastro muy grande. So, the men y también go van out a salir las almejas, pero muy women, grande, se llama un rayo. Yeah. Pero es muy bonito, el más estás a tu sí. aire, no hay jefe. She's saying that a lot of people regard this work as inferior work, but she said, why would that be so? It's you're out in nature, it's very beautiful, you don't have a boss, <laughs> you're doing your own thing. It's great food. Ya. Yeah. Mm. ¿Y por qué ella, por ejemplo, tiene un no sé la palabra, pero este cosa grande para para las almejas para apurar más? Esta. Porque el agujero no. La, la otra. El que tienen Esta. las chicas. Did you hear what she just said? Yeah. She said yeah. I have both kinds of weapons. No, tenemos que acabar. Estas son muy finas. Tiene la cáscara muy finita. Ah. Y And the shell breaks, so you can't claro. get them with the big rake. Right. Ah. Pero mi hermana anda con el dedo, las cojo con el dedo. ¿En serio? Sí, anda por ahí. Her sister oh. just does it with her sí. finger like that. Because she's a zen mistress. Oh, there's a oh. Oh, you're talking. <laughs> wow. Mira. Now those. Those, flats. those are like little flats, right? Yeah. Y como precio, ostras más caras. Estas son para pegar aún en las batidas, porque son pequeñitas. Ah, se tiene que Did you say the oysters are most expensive yet? Because she no. will, right? Esta es 50 pesetas cada una, pero estas son pequeñitas. Pesetas, medio euro. Ay, sí. <laughs> <laughs> todavía, en toda España todavía sí, piensan sí, en pesetas. Es que es mucho difícil. tiempo. Sí. Claro. Fue mucho tiempo. Sí. ¿Cuál es la hora ideal? ¿Depende del día y depende del no, tiempo? No, es que las mareas van por la luna. They have Hasta a lunar mañana. calendar. And that's how they make their schedule, because the, as the moon controls the tide and it shifts all the time, they, they, they know when the tide's coming based on the calendar. And then... Do they come out at 2 in the morning? No, because I couldn't Solo see. Se ve. Solo Only when it's light out. Right. Sí. Solo so that explains the six days on, six days off, because if low tide is in the middle of the night, they don't come you out. can't go clamming. Right. You need sun. So that's an hour little... or so before and after... Yeah. Well, an hour before, an hour after the dead low. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. Es una mujer, la presidenta. Sí, es una mujer. Muy bien. Sí. Even the president the lady. This is what's good. Y hay restaurantes de aquí que tienen mariscos super buenos. Ah. O... Sí. Casa Pintos. Casa Pintos. Sí, comida muy fresca, nada de congelado, mm. nada de preparado, nada de, de microondas, ni nada. De... Eso es. <laughs> Meme, our marvelous mariscadora, guided us to restaurant Casa Pintos. Literally a stone's throw from the bay. What are we going to eat? Well, she said that uh, the restaurants around here, it's everything super fresh, right out of the ocean, the surroundings, no, nothing processed, nothing in the microwave, nothing frozen, it's all straight from here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I feel the answer. Mm. Wow, Again. gracias. And this is but a fraction of what we harvested during our hours of work this morning. Funny, I didn't see you harvest a one. Yeah, I harvested I was, I was at least say. three. Okay. Should I be the royal taster? Yes, you will. Yeah, you should. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And these are called. I'm going to try to get these straight now. Berberechos. These to me are kind of like a cross between like one of those tiny little scallops and a clam. It has all of the resilience in the mouth. Mm. Oh, they're so great. Okay. No, I mean, it's not a C. Do you want more? C. <laughs> Got the What, are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. They're unbelievable. Mm. And how about with the local wine? Do you think there's going to be some kind of a pairing here? Mm. You tell oh. me. Mm. 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 Wow. Great flavor. That is sublime. Mm. This is just cooked in its own. These are just steam. They put a little water in the pan Perfect. and open them. <laughs> mm. Unbelievable. Mm. No, there was butter in there or something. Uh-uh, no, look. Look at the top of that broth. I mean, they're something. rich. They're not they're they're fattier. fattier. Look, look on top of the water. There's no, no, I think there's Mario's nothing. right, but I think nothing. they have... They taste like... Mm. They're very fatty. <laughs> Intrinsic. Mm. They're gorge. This is why I want. Why don't you have it? I want you to have the best one. Charles, you have it. I'll have the best I one. I want you to have it. <laughs> Never if I didn't one. think it was hyperbole, I would say this was the best steamed clam I ever had. I love this. I'm and it may be. One. I don't remember you don't think them it's hyperbole? all. Hyperbole? Oh. Hyperbola? It's Yiddish. Hyperbola. Bubbola. It's Bubbola. hyperbola. It's hyperbola. <laughs> I like that. I like it. Hyperbole. Hyperbole. Shall we toast to the mariscadoras? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Before yeah. we yeah. should. Yeah. 
ankle deep in love. <laughs> Those ladies were perfect. That was cool. Mm. Mm. Oh, what, what do we have here? Señores, almejas a Barbarino Montillo. Oh, qué bien. Wow. ¿Y qué tipo de salsa tiene? Pues tiene aceite, ajo y laurel. Y albariño, albariño. Y albariño. 